The main focus of the complex is the history of Prince William County and Brentsville itself, mainly in the 19th century. Um, you know, the site focuses on how government was running back then, how people came to court, people went to taverns, some people had to go to the jail. We have various time eras of buildings here that we'd like for you to visit, uh, starting with the courthouse and the jailhouse, both of which were built between 1820 and 1822. Um, Brentsville was specifically founded in 1820 as the fourth county seat of Prince William County. You know, everyone back then would come to court at least once a year, not for any legal issues maybe, maybe just to come to the court lot to, to buy something at the farmer's market, to attend a trial for entertainment purposes. At the time Brentsville was created in 1820, and, became operational in 1822. West of what is now Brentsville was the western frontier. Prior to the Civil War, the town of Manassas did not exist. Uh, after the town got established, uh, they decided they would try to move the courthouse from Brentsville to Manassas. Uh, they had two attempts to do that that failed. Uh, on the third time, it passed uh, because one of the carpetbaggers who lived in Manassas gave the county all of the land on which to build the courthouse, and so it was something you couldn't turn down. Uh, the jail actually built the same time the courthouse uh, started being used in 1822 and was in constant use until the time that the courthouse moved, even through the Civil War. Bristow Road it was the main road at the time of the Civil War. Uh, during the war, hundreds of thousands of troops went up and down this road. When Robert E. Lee was going to Gettysburg, most of his troops came up this road to Route 15 and on to Gettysburg. And when the Union forces were going to Fredericksburg and Richmond, they would travel east on this road uh, until they got to Dumfries and then go south to the other locations. Uh, while they were passing through, the officers would take quarters in the houses. Uh, the enlisted people would camp out on the grounds. During the time that, that the town was occupied by the northern soldiers, they would frequently round up people and lock them up. Uh, when the south took control again, they would turn them loose and lock up other people. So the, the, the jail was probably the most used building constantly from 1822 until 1893. Uh, we have stories of ghosts being present in the jail. In fact, we were featured on national television in one of the ghost hunter groups. Uh, there's supposed to be spirits roaming there. That remains to be seen if you'd like to believe that or not. After the county seat uh, moved from here, the courthouse was actually converted initially into a college. It was called the Prince William Academy. And it was, uh, I.N.H. Beam was the schoolmaster, and he actually issued bachelor degree diplomas for teachers. Uh, and at that time, most of the teachers in this part of Prince William County graduated from the Prince William Academy in Brentsville. The church we have on site is called the Brentsville Union Church. Uh, it was actually built after the Civil War. Uh, immediately after the Civil War, there was a resurgence of religion throughout the South, and Brentsville, of course, was no exception. So about 1870, the ladies of Brentsville put an advertisement in the Alexandria Gazette asking for donations to build a non-denominational Protestant church here in Brentsville. When the Presbyterians built their new church, they took the bell out of this one over to the new church because they thought they owned the church. And then only when we were doing the restoration, the county had to, to promise to replace the bell with one like it over there so we could get the original one back. And today the site's used mostly as an educational site. Uh, it, it's a historical site to be sure. Uh, but we're anxious for people to learn more about Brunsville and the role that it had during the development of the county. Most everyone that comes here instantly falls in love with the place because of its location in the middle of Northern Virginia, but not, as you look around, very Northern Virginia-like. It's still rural out here. We want people to know that this is the one and only courthouse that existed during the Civil War, uh, that it does have a lot of historical significance, and we'd love to have people come out and, and see what's here.